What's up, y'all? I'm out here on the range, as you can see, on what's turned out to be a much colder and cloudier day than it was supposed to, but I ain't gonna let this keep me from having some fun. I've got a really cool new tool that I picked up recently to check out. We're looking at the Beretta PMXS. Now that's a spicy meatball. All right, let's take a quick look at this thing and then we'll send some more rounds to it. So again, what you're looking at here is the Italian-made Beretta PMX S. Now, S is the civilian model because obviously it don't have the wide open setting. But what you got here is just another basic blowback 9 mil pistol in the SMG kind of format. So this probably won't excite some people at all. A lot of people probably never heard of the PMX at all. Some of y'all I'm sure probably have. It's basically the successor to or the replacement, meant to be the replacement to the Beretta PMX. M12, which was the SMG used by, you know, some Italian military special forces, Leo. That's basically what this is. It's being used by some Italian special forces, uh, some Leos, Saudi Arabia, I believe some of their forces are using them and a few other places. So just a really quick summary of kind of like the history of it. This thing was introduced in 2017, I believe. It's actually a clone basically of the BNT P26. They, Beretta got the rights or bought the rights to the BNT P26. So this is what they released in 2017 as the replacement for their M12. Now, the reason I call it an Italian Tech 9 is probably pretty obvious just by the looks of it. Uh, the P26, which is what this basically is a clone of, took very heavy inspiration from the Tech 9. It's pretty much a modern day Tech 9 is what you got. So again, direct blowback 9 mil. You got a 6.9 inch barrel on it, half by 28 threaded. Now this, what I've got on here is a Strike Industries uh, Mini King Comp and their little oppressor blast shield. As as you can see, you got plenty of pick rail there at all four positions, a full pick rail all the way across the top there. Comes with two full-size mags. They're like a translucent type of smoked color, pretty neat looking mags. Pretty much everything about it is ambidextrous. You got your fire control right here, ambidextrous, both sides there, as you can see. Your charging handle can be changed from left or right. You can see there, you just swap it around. Right now, I've got it on the left. Your mag release, you can see on this side, you got that one. And then on this side over here, you got this one right here. Now your bolt catch is not ambidextrous. You just got that on the left side there. You got several different sling attachment points on it. You got one here, which also serves as a hand stop. You got a couple up here. You got a couple up here. You also had one on the back. This piece that I've got on the back did not come on it. What it had on here was just a little back plate with a uh, QD connector. This I actually picked up. This is a pick rail attachment on the back and this brace did not come with it either. This is a Strike Industries dual folder. If y'all hadn't seen these, these are really cool. They'll fold either way so you just pick it up to fold it back and then if you want to fold it back this way use that button and it locks back the other way as far as optics you don't get anything with it so i stuck this little hollow sun on it this is that solar charging one the scrs with the uh, green dual reticle on it now, as far as the trigger on this thing, it's actually pretty decent trigger. Um, little bit of tiny bit of take up. You're basically right there at the full pressure wall and it breaks at really, really light. I would say that's about four and a half pounds. It's under five pounds. Reset really short audible reset and then you're right back on the wall again but that's really about all there is to say with this thing again it's just a basic blowback nine mil some people won't care nothing about it i think all of these things personally are overpriced for what they are but this was pretty cool it was black tiger stripe so i couldn't resist y'all know i'm also a video game fan so this one right here is actually in the current uh, call of duty to modern warfare so pretty neat there again nothing real special just a basic blowback nine but it's something that caught my eye and i wanted to grab it all right, let's see if I can stand up here and hit anything out there at a distance. I'm gonna put, I've got 15 rounds of just some regular old arms core 115 grain FMJ. I'm gonna put five right here at the 25 just to kind of get my bearings. And then I'm gonna try five at the 50 and five at the 75. Now I got my little magnifier cause I'm gonna cheat once I get out that far, I'm telling you now. Let's see what we get here. Let's do this 25 here first. All right, good to go there. Let's try a few 50 without magnified. No, uh, I've got this zeroed at 25. I can't see out there without, without being magnified. Uh, that was totally me on that one. Let's go out to the 75.
No. No, I didn't hit none at 75. I'm not sure where I'm at. I'll probably have to sit down at the bench and figure that one out. All right, y'all, I'm actually curious where I'm hitting out there at 75. So I got 10 more rounds of that same arm score loaded up. I'm going to uh, try to put five out there at uh, 75. And if I can hit those, I'm going to try to go to 102. Now, granted, this is a 6.9 inch barrel. So you ain't doing much work at 75 or, or you could, but most of the time you wouldn't be. I'm just curious where I'm at since I've zeroed for, uh, for 25. All right, I was holding the exact center on that silhouette. I think I'm at the bottom. I can't tell where I'm at, actually. I need to get some binoculars. I actually might be over at the left shoulder. Let me, let me grab my binoculars before I send any more. Yeah, it looks like I'm just barely hitting the left side over there, which kind of makes sense because I zeroed this at 25 and I almost gave it one more click to the right because I was favoring a little bit left, but I thought it might've been just me. But uh, I got a feeling it could use another click to the right. I'm gonna hold over to the right edge of the target. Now I missed holding at the right edge, so maybe that ain't my impacts. I see the impacts, it's just not all that, it's not as far left as I was thinking it was. I see that one right there, basically at the uh, neck area. Let me go out there to 100, let's see what I can do. No, I pulled that. Got that. I can't see where though. Got that one. I see that one. And I got that one. So on that first one, I hit over to the right and I was actually compensating. That second one I held right in the center and I'm right at the left side. Let's try this one more time. No, that was totally me. I think I got one or two more. Got that one. That was the last one. So not too bad. I think it's pretty much on out there. But my little bit of wiggling is all it takes when you're that far out. All right, y'all, I got us back up here closer for a little boom, boom break. I'm going to pop them couple cans of shaving cream and then hit that boom, boom bottle in the middle. Let's see what we can get. No boom, boom, but we made it snow out there. All right, y'all know we ain't letting a good boom go to waste. Let's finish that thing off. That's more like it. All right, y'all, let's do us a little watermelon test here. I got three different rounds loaded up. I've got a 115 Arms Core FMJ, a 127 Plus P Plus T Series, and then a 115 Plus P uh, Defiant Munitions TCX. So we'll see which one gives us the biggest pop. Normally now, I'll just tell you, these nine mils on this watermelon ain't very exciting. It's just not enough energy to make them get real crazy, but we'll see what happens. Just in case anybody's wondering, this uh, little blast shield here comes on and off of the regular comp that you've seen on there. I'm just switching it back and forth to see uh, if I can tell any kind of difference or whatever. Let's see what we get here. Let's go, uh, we'll go left, right, middle. FMJ T-Series Defiant. That went right through. Definitely a big difference. Those last two look pretty comparable to me. That first one with the FMJ was nothing. All right, let's see if we can finish that one with the FMJ off. This time I've got a, a T-Series in there and I've got a boom boom stuck on it. So hopefully I can get the boom boom.
definitely much better. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to get fancy with this one right here. I got us a handful of boom booms and a couple of cans of shaving cream out there. So if I can string all this together, it ought to be a pretty good one. Let's see what I can do. That didn't go exactly to plan, but it's pretty good anyway. All right, y'all, I gathered up some two stragglers and got them hung back up, because you know the policy around here. No boom booms left behind. Now that's the way to end it off. All right, y'all, I'm gonna call it right there for what was a lot of fun with this Italian Tiger Stripe Tech 9. Again, I know some of y'all ain't gonna care nothing about another blowback nine mil, but I think this thing's really cool as far as the Tiger Stripe pattern on it. That's the main thing that caught my eye. It's really, really lightweight, really nice handling on it. Accuracy seems plenty good out there, probably more accurate than I am. So I'm definitely glad I picked it up. Now, do I think it's overpriced? Absolutely, just like every other one of these little nine mil blowbacks, but it is what it is. I mean, if you look at these things, the prices on them are crazy, and I definitely don't think it's worth it. But I figured if I was going to get one, it might as well be something cool like this PMX. But let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments. Any of y'all out there actually have one of these PMXs or any other little blowback 9 mil like this? Let me know down in the comments what you got and what you think about it. If you did enjoy the video, reach down and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you get notified when I upload new stuff. Like I always remind you, if you're doing some shopping, hit up those affiliate links in the video description. Anything you buy after checking out those links down there, I get a kickback from them towards the channel, so I really appreciate that. Once again, a big thanks to all my range gang members and every single one of y'all for supporting the channel like y'all do i had a lot of fun with this pmx out here today and i've got some interesting stuff planned so stay on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon